Hi, my name is Dory Little Herrick, and I'm chair of animation at Woodbury University. And we just had a fun time doing a workshop with high school students who've come to see the various programs, and that includes media and media technology and filmmaking and game. And all of those programs are really uh, close to my heart because almost all of them contain something that looks like animation. Our animation program works um, across the different production styles of animation. We do traditional animation on paper, and we start there because there's no default mode in a pencil. So you actually have to learn to animate when you pick up a pencil to draw. After that, we're into the digital world because nearly all pipelines in the animation industry are digital now. So if you're working for TV on a show like Adventure Time, you're working in a digital pipeline. Bob's Burgers, a totally paperless pipeline. If you're working in stop motion, you're working in a special software called Dragon Frame that we were using in our workshop today that uh, specializes in maintaining large full resolution raw files and little tiny files so that you can see your stop motion work as you're shooting. And if you're, of course if you're working in CG you're totally in the digital world. And that's sort of where Steam suddenly appears in the cartoon world because our, pro, our pipelines have a lot of technology in them and a lot of the people who work in animation programs also code which is why we were excited to have media technology appear here so my animation students could take basic programming or they could animate games uh, with a game designer from the game program and with coders from the media tech program. So we're trying to kind of stay in that world where we're artists but we know we're in a digital world and we're crossing over all the time. And I think that's the beauty of STEAM is that you're really working on both sides of the tech, the science, and the art, and animation lives in that world.